Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to connect the Ninja Trader 7 software with the Ensign 10 charting software. The first step is to go to ensignsoftware.com and click on the downloads link. In this page, you'll see a list of downloads. One of them is called Ninja 7 Script. You click on that to download it, you hit Save As, and then you can specify a location that you can find later. In this example, I'm going to save it to the Ensign 10 folder on my hard drive. I'm going to hit Save, and then I'm done on the website and I can close that. The next step is to bring up the control center for the Ninja Trader. I click on the File, Utilities, and then Import Ninja Script. It brings up a message asking if it's a trusted source. I say yes. And then I browse to the same folder that I just saved it in. And you'll see a ninja7.ensign zip file. And then I hit open. And then it says it has successfully imported. So I just click OK. And now the ninja is ready to use that uh, indicator. So the first step is to open a chart. And to do that, you click on File, New, Chart. And then you pick the symbol that you want to send to the Ensign program. So I want to send data for the ES. I'm going to click on the ES September 2011. I'm going to click New for a one minute chart and then just hit OK. Now it's updating with simulator data, but whatever it's updating with, it will send to Ensign. So the first step is to right click on the chart and click on Indicators. Now in this list of indicators you will see one that's called EDS. Click on New and then Apply and then just hit OK. So now that Ninja has a one minute chart that's open, has the EDS indicator applied and I can see that the price is updating, it's ready to go into the Ensign 10. So now in Ensign you click on Setup and then Feeds. And in this list of feeds, you're going to select Ninja Trader. Now each feed has a symbol list. These are the symbols that you want to get data for. I have ESU1 for the September 2011. And then I click Connect. And on the right, you can see what the status is. It shows online and that it's getting data. Once I close that window, to see the data, I can click on the main ribbon and then click on the quote page. At the bottom of the quote page, there are buttons for each feed. I'm going to click NJ for the Ninja Trader. And I can see I have the ESU1 here and the price is changing. This price here will match the price that I have on the Ninja 1 minute chart because that's what's sending the data. This is how you connect the Ensign 10 software with the Ninja Trader 7.